Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. Today, I just wanted to stand at a pulpit and speak at the pulpit. You know, uh, the Take 5s normally, I do them from my office or an outside location or, or somewhere like that. But I miss preaching at this pulpit during a time of lockdown. Now, of course, the Word is the Word, no matter where it goes forth from. I understand that. You know, I could, you could preach the Word sitting, sitting on the floor or standing in your bathroom just as easily as from a pulpit. It is the Word of God, and God's Word will go forth unfettered wherever you proclaim it. But I see that Jesus would use every opportunity to preach the word. He would, he would preach the word while he was walking with his disciples. He would preach the word when he encountered a woman at the well and he was tired and thirsty. He would preach the word when he was sat with his disciples in a roadside inn on the road to Emmaus. He, you know, his most Possibly his most effective pulpit was not in a synagogue, but was in a boat. Whenever he went out to and just took the boat slightly out from shore and a huge crowd of people gathered. And uh, I'm told by people who understand all about sound engineering and sound waves that actually that would have created almost like a natural amplification system uh, as the sound bounced up off the water and was able to be heard by a massive crowd. But on other occasions, Jesus did preach from a proper pulpit. Or in fact, it wouldn't have been a pulpit. It would have been a seat as whenever he went to the synagogue and he sat in Moses' seat. He sat in the seat where they unrolled the scrolls of the scriptures and read from it. And Jesus read that scripture that spoke about um, from Isaiah 61, that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And it was a, a messianic uh, passage of scripture. It was all about the things that would happen at the coming of the kingdom of God. And, you know, all the hearers that listened to Jesus reading it, well, it wasn't a strange scripture at all. They would have been used to that. They're waiting for him to say what the Pharisees and the priests always said when they read from that scripture. They would close the scroll and say, and this will be fulfilled in the future kingdom when the Messiah comes. And instead, Jesus reads it and he reads about the blind seeing and the lame walking and the acceptable year of the Lord being preached and he rolls it up and he says, today this is fulfilled in your hearing. And you know, Jesus does that. Whenever we let Jesus loose in our lives, he takes things that we thought were for the sweet by and by and the far distant future and he brings them into the here and now. And I know that all of us have those occasions when we've read passages of Scripture and we've, uh, we've said, yeah, that's a wonderful Scripture. I'll claim that. Praise God. Yes. And, and then we, we sort of put it away off in the future. One day, one day that Scripture is going to be fulfilled. One day God's going to do that for me. I want to encourage you. Would you maybe take a look at some of those Scriptures that God has touched your heart with in the past? You've been looking at it for some day in the long, far and distant future. Would you begin to pray, Lord, would you do that in my heart today? Lord, would you make this not a in the future kingdom, but would you make this now in your kingdom, in my life today? I believe that God wants to speak into our lives with some of the scriptural promises that we haven't yet experienced and God wants to say today, this is fulfilled, not just in your hearing, but in your life and experience in Jesus' name. May God help us to lay claim to his word and to walk in the power of his word today in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please join us again next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada.